Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome to the channel, Molly Boy TV here. Today we're reacting to Sublime Santeria. I think that's how you say it. Sublime, completely new band to me. As we've just basically been discovering new bands constantly on this channel. Sublime are a new one to me. The only thing I know of Sublime is, and this is because somebody told me, that Sublime and No Doubt used to jam together before they were famous and actually became famous around this, with each other. Like they, they were famous at the same time. But that's all I know. I don't know what sort of music they do. I can guess the fact that they jammed with No Doubt before they were famous. I can guess they're going to be like 90s rock, which if it is, I'm excited. But that is all I know, unfortunately. A lot of people before have told me to go in with the with the research, but I actually like going in without the research because it gives you guys the opportunity to talk to me and tell me about things and then I can respond to them. So yeah, what would you rather I do? Would you rather go in with knowledge or go in completely blind and then do the research afterwards? I think the second option, but we'll see what people say. Anyway, I'm not gonna waffle. This is Sublime Santeria. I hope you enjoy it, man. Let's go. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm wearing different clothes again today, man. I really like the changing up. I'm wearing something different. Today I'm wearing the Comme de Garçon polo shirt. I love polo shirts, if you don't know. Probably wouldn't know. But actually, before I started wearing all like, the, the band t-shirts and stuff, I really, really liked polo shirts. But yeah, this is Sublime Centuria. Let's know our four. Let's go. This already has a 90s feel, it just from the video. Nah, bruv. No. This isn't what I was f***ing expecting. This is what I love about this 90s music, bruv. It's just different, man. Something's always different about it. This is more of an upbeat jam. I didn't expect this to sound the way it did. I'm trying to think of a comparison of how I thought it would, but nah. Go again. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. I have good feelings about this. It's the way that intro came in. I'm really well, liking this. He's got a really, really raspy voice at times, doesn't he? But also, at other times, he's got a soft voice. I love it when these singers can go to different parts of their vocals and just... Like, they're so versatile with it. I feel like I've heard this sort of music before, growing up, you know. This, this sounds like... A lot of UK bands that would have been around maybe in the early 2000s, I recognise this sort of sound. I don't know this song, but I recognise the sort of sound with this more upbeat vibe to it and constant tempo. Okay, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. It's very different. I honestly didn't expect this from them when I was told, because I know now that they jammed with No Doubt. This isn't what I was expecting, but I'm really liking it, and I think his voice complements this so well. What is it with singers today that don't look like they should have these voices? Jeez. Daddy's gonna love one and all. I feel the break, feel the break, feel the break, and I gotta live it up. I recognize that dude as well.
baby, go back. We've got to hear that guitar solo again. the way he's doing that with his vocals i don't know what the actual term is of it but when they sing and they kind of let the voice break a little bit and let the 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 vocals fade out with that i really loved when they do that i love when musicians do it again this sublime sound sounds so familiar to me is this what they usually sound like because i'm thinking maybe i've heard sublime like other music from them and that's why i'm recognizing this this sort of sound or is this like yeah is this usually what they sound like Yeah, that like running and then the highness of the hide. Oh. Daddy's got a new 45. And I won't think twice to stick that bell straight down Sancho's throat. Oh, goddamn. And I say that I got something for it. Punk ass. But I really want to go. Yo, we said in diss tracks in the 90s. I really hope that Sancho lyric about having something for his punk ass, I really hope, I'm going to go back a little bit so we can hear it, I really, really hope that that has real meaning behind it and it's about an actual someone because if it is, that would be funny. I like this a lot. Different, different, don't get me wrong, different. But I'm going to go back to where the, the solo was and hear it from there. But you, you really sit here and listen to what these, these guys are talking about and the way that they're singing and the instruments and shit like that and you really actually see how great this music is. <laughs> That snare drum as well. Oh my god. It's added so much to this. My favorite part. last bit as well none of it rhymed i'm sure none of it rhymed i don't want to go back again because i've already rewound a lot but usually uh, you have the rhyme at the end of the lyric don't you so that it goes on to the next one and, and it all sounds like it's rhyming like a poem I like this a lot. This is really, really good, actually. That was Sublime Santera. Not what I was expecting from it, purely because of being told that they used to jam with No Doubt. I don't really know how No, no Doubt sounds either. They've only heard two songs by them now. Again, like knowing that this is 90s rock, I, I haven't seen this side of the 90s yet, I don't think. To me, a lot of 
British 2000s rock sounds like this. So yeah, I wasn't expecting it. Very intriguing though. I think we on this like these past week, this past week we have listened to some songs in the decades that we usually listen to, but that sound completely different from what we've heard before. I really, 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 really want to look more into this now. The vocals for me were one of the best vocals though, because it's that natural type of voice, easy singing voice, not easy as in anyone could do, but I mean like it sounds easy for him. And again, in those vocals, like I said, you know the parts where he'll sing and then he'll have a certain word that's slightly higher and more breathy in a sense, or more of a break on it. Mate, I sit here and I listen to these songs so f like I'll, I'll be in depth when I'm listening to these songs bro, so I can pick up on things that I wouldn't have heard and that's what makes me love music so much because I'm hearing things that the average listener really wouldn't even pick up on and I love that when I'm really into something I'm really into something and it really shows that was Sublime, Santeria I think we need to hear from we need to hear more from them now so I can get an understanding of what this band sounds like which again is more more videos for you guys to watch if you enjoy this one then you gotta leave a like on this please because i need to know that you enjoyed it throw some more of their songs at me please throw some more sublime at me because we're going into territories now where there's a lot of bands that i've never even heard of and like a lot of these bands as well just because they have low following on youtube doesn't mean they have a massive following in real life rush for example rush does not have a really high following on here yet i did a rush video and the fans were there man and they loved it sublime very different one i enjoyed it though and I want to hear more from Sublime now. I think it has to be done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, throw some Sublime information at me. But other than that, it's been your boy, Molly Boy TV. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.